Uh, going on to the next issue, what do you think the city should do to improve the business climate in Mesquite? And what are your thoughts about the uh, new business or the new Mesquite Regional Business Organization? Okay, let me take the first part first. Okay. Uh, I went to this business conference that we had, and my feeling is why I'm running. I have a strong business background. I worked for a major um, billion dollar company and I controlled $140 million worth of product and I traveled all through Asia and I worked with different uh, um, factories and governments and my thinking is is that um, Mesquite could be a great it's a great retirement area but also we need to build um, hotels here to have more rooms to make this into a resort. I think it would be a key thing to have Mesquite and become a major resort area for Nevada. And uh, I look at it this way, and people have probably heard this before, uh, coming from California, it reminds me of Palm Springs in a lot of ways when it was in its infancy. And I think what we have to do is work with uh, developers to see if they'll come in and build resorts. As an example, uh, in Palm Desert, Marriott, 30 years ago, came in and built a major resort when there was nothing there. People thought they were nuts. But it turned out that today it's a major resort and the, and the area grew because of Marriott. Weston came in, Hilton came in, all these hotels came in, and it became a major area. So I think that's one of the key things, and that would bring a lot of people into this community, a lot of restaurants, and you're going to say, well, I've heard this before, how are you going to do it? Well, with my background, I think I could go into uh, Vegas, talk to these developers, talk to the developers in L.A., and see if I can get them to at least come to Mesquite and see if they'd be interested in what it would take to get them to build a resort here. Okay. And the, uh, the other thing I think we could do, as an example, is see if we can get some high-tech industry here. And one of the examples that I'm, I'm thinking if you've heard a lot about is this Tony Shea in Las Vegas. Right. And what he has done. And I would like to sit down <coughs> with Tony Shea, get his ideas, see if he knew any young entrepreneurs in the tech industry be interested in moving to Mesquite. We've got a lot of empty buildings here that we could get to them and we could build up a tech industry here. And also with Tony Shea's help, and I think that could be important, and that brings in um, higher labor, so you have more money in the community, and it gives you a broader tax base. And then the other thing is, I saw plans about redeveloping downtown. I think that would be a great thing to get a developer to do, to redevelop downtown with shops and condos, and it would build up, and I think competition is great. Competition makes for people to do better. That's I've learned to be competitive in my life, and the more competitive, the better you are. And that's what I think we should be doing. And I think I've got the knowledge and the wherewithal to get some of this done. Okay. And what was the second part of the question? <coughs> the new uh, Mesquite Regional Business Group, uh, what are your thoughts about that idea? Well, I, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think the city should... Um, farm out its um, business development. And as an example, it's going to compete with um, these, um, what do I want to say, the, it's, it's going to compete with um, um, our own, um, let me see, I have my notes here, and I was, it's going to compete with our own Chamber of Commerce for the same people and the same volunteers, and it's going to take away from the Chamber of Commerce. And I think we need to build on, excuse me, on our Chamber of Commerce, rather than just having another organization and have two compete with one, and one's going to destroy the other. And I just, I just think it's more important for the city to build its own businesses. And I think the people, that's why I'm running for city council, I'll light a fire under these people. I think we, we, we've got to do it ourselves. That's the way you build things. And not only that, if, if I'm a developer, and I'm going to invest millions of dollars in a project, 
I want to talk to the mayor. I want to talk to city council. I want to know what I'm getting into. And this, to me, is more important than anything. Okay. Um, at the business summit on January 28th, I believe you were there, um, two business leaders, Corey Clemenson and Greg Lee, discussed the core industries in Mesquite of golf and gaming. And this kind of goes back to what you were just uh, talking about a few minutes ago. What do you think are the core industries currently in Mesquite? Um, and what would you recommend the city do or not do about them? Well, I, I think the core industries are golf. We have great golf courses, as I said, and it's a beautiful area. And we have gaming. But the point is, is that what I got out of this conference is they didn't say how they were going to build other businesses. It seemed like they didn't want competition. And as I said before, I think that competitiveness makes for success. So my thinking is, I would like to see again, I'm not saying we need more casinos, but again, we need a major resort. Similar to, like I said before, I keep bringing up the Marriott, but I have a lot of respect for the way the Marriott Corporation builds hotels and what they've done. And to me, they're probably one of the best in the industry. So I'm saying, I think we need resorts here and that helps bring in golfers for more golf and everybody gets more people more money and then it makes the casinos more competitive and then maybe we'll get more rooms because the key to what we need in this town I think number one is hotel rooms mm -hmm. because without hotel rooms you can't do anything as an example we had a balloon festival unfortunately the uh, weather didn't cooperate yeah but my thinking is, is that just the balloon festival, we should have had maybe gotten a hold of the Food Channel and gotten some major chefs here, some wine tasting, and we could have brought in a, a, a whole abundance of people that would have spent a lot of money and we could have put Mesquite on the map. But you really can't do this without having enough hotel rooms. Yeah. See, that's really the key. There's a lot of things I would that we could do, but if we don't have the rooms for it, you can't do it. Okay. This next question kind of follows up on all of that. Um, give us your thoughts about uh, the redevelopment agency funds that are <coughs> remaining in the city. How should those uh, RDA funds be used? Well, there's a couple of things. I don't know if it pertains to this, but there's a lot of buildings that need to be torn down. And we have a lot of empty lots. Uh, First, I think we need to tear down these buildings. They're, they're nothing but blight. And, and who wants to look at these old buildings? I think that's one thing. And I think we've got to sit down and, and figure out how we're going to redevelop the area. And I, as again, I saw, I saw these plans of a downtown. And it, it reminded me in a lot of ways of Old Town Pasadena. It had, it had restaurants. It had walking. It had outdoor eating. It had great little businesses that are unusual. It had lofts above it. I mean, we need, we need to um, make Mesquite into something where people want to get off the 15th and come here and shop and eat, stay for the weekend because we got great golf. And the answer wasn't and they, I, I, putting a truck stop in the middle of the city and not, people aren't going to get off and do anything with that. I'm talking about people that have money that want to spend. This is really the key of what we want to do. We want to have an economy that has a lot of money. And we want people to come here and enjoy this beautiful environment. 